Hey, uh, it's now day two. Um, now, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm installing a rear bumper. Um, so far is what I got. I never did button off all this stuff here, so that's still off. Right now I'm taking off this piece um, because there's a lot of tabs that's hidden up in here in this spot. And I've taken these off here, but I still gotta get to these and I have no other way other than to take this off. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I currently have all these removed underneath here. There's like a bolt there. There's one holding this mud flap on. And as you see, it just falls off. And you can also probably see this crappy paint job here. Look at this crap, man. Like if you're gonna paint a car, at least try to paint it right. Um, but that's what I'm doing right now. So let's see where it goes. And God, I tell you what, it is hot as crap. Well, it's not so much as hot as it is humid. So uh, something here. As I'm taking this, that gummit, man. Okay, as I'm taking this off, I find out I still gotta take off these tail lights again uh, because it's like getting hung up on there. I'll show you. So I don't know if you can tell, ha, how crappy this paint job is. Just kidding. Um, this, geez Louise, you can kind of see this right here is tucked behind the uh, headlights. I mean, tail lights. So unfortunately, I gotta take the tail lights off now. Okay, I have now gotten that tail light out. I was able to slide the uh, garnish off without having to completely remove the other one. It's all I did was just loosen it. I um, already got these started because it was then when I realized, oh crap, there's all these screws here, so there's no point in taking the rest of them off. So now so all I gotta do is do this little jazz thing here and then work some magic and then literally the bumper should just pop off. Uh, so yeah, I was just kidding. The bumper's not gonna just pop off. Look at that, you can see all that crappy overspray that's going on. Um, these here have to come off. And I think that may be it afterwards. But yeah, so I got like one and two. I'm trying to just go on. I'm just filling it out, if you will, trial and error. Okay, uh, so here we are. We got the green bumper. What are the odds that I got these bumpers from two separate people? Uh, of course, you know, the front one's green. I found that came off of a four door sedan found this one that's just green came off of a two-door um so how cool is that at least it's sort of kind of matching right like i don't have a whole bunch of different mix and match body panels but here we go so you got the 98 rear and then you got well 98 to 01 rear then you got the uh 94 to 97 rear um in case oops you can't tell the difference um it's kind of has like a little more like a refined line right there um here as opposed to that um, and of course the obvious you got this piece here Whereas the 94 97 does not and it just looks in my opinion Like neater and of course newer um, But I'm not going to run the mud flaps. So I'm going to take the mud flaps off I didn't worry about it on the other this bumper here because I knew I was going to take them off anyway uh, But yeah, so now is all we got to do is pop it on that old girl there She's looking fresh. Well, not really kind of rash it right now, but we're making progress, baby steps, bud. Okay, uh, I got the bumper on. Um, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty good. However, there is some fitment issues. Uh, like there's like some gaps and stuff. I bent like the bracket up, you know, to raise it up a little bit, like this little thing here. I'll show you guys. Like I bent this, hold on, Ugh, I do this every time. So this here is the bracket, it kinda, it goes up in here and a bumper kind of clicks into it. I bent it up a little bit, like tried to readjust it and that helped close the gap in a little. Uh, the gap I'm talking about is that, I don't know, it may not look good too bad on here. I may try some heat and see if I can bring it up that way, but there's like a gap there and then there's a gap on this side. Like it's not the end of the world, but I feel like my other one fit a little bit tighter. It could be the fact that it's just a different year and the bumper's made, it's just a little bit different. I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the bumper, uh, the tail light on, put that garnish on and then wrap it up and clean up the bumper bit. I don't know how well this is gonna turn out, but there it is one last time. Got the rear on, good night, man. It's a shame I couldn't finish this up quick enough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close out the video now because as you can see, it's dark. You can't really see anything anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash the back end of the car. Kind of clean some of that dirt that you saw. Uh, it was covered all over because I should have done that beforehand, but I didn't because I was trying to beat the daylight. 
uh, while we still had it. But um, stay tuned, it's a little slow going. I mean, I know like I'm not uploading as much, but I only wanna upload stuff and have content. I don't wanna sit there and do vlogging and all that jazz. Uh, maybe who knows where it will go, but as of this time, like I just wanna focus on the car and kind of use this to like document, like I said before, um, just when I have things come in, I will document when I'm installing them. Sometimes I forget and I get a little too far into it, but uh, I'm trying to do better with that. So um, like I said, just stay tuned. There's gonna be more coming out for it. I got some other stuff in. I am, like I said, I might've mentioned this already in the video. I'm selling those springs that I got. I just wanna get coil over so I can be able to adjust this car. Uh, so I will be getting that taken care of and we'll be doing that. Um, but stay tuned because I like said I am going to upload another video in regards to the steering wheel because I finally got my uh, hub in. I just don't have time to do it today. It's too dark. So that'll be for another time right along with something else that I got planned. Um, but yeah, that's it. So basically the car has been converted uh, from 94 to 98 at least. I don't have the side mirrors. I don't know if I want to get the side mirrors. I have something else planned for that. I would like to do the spoon reps, if not the spoon, if I can afford that. Um, but I would like to do that. I don't really want to do the other stuff there that I got. Um, but for now, the time being, like I'm content, I was more concerned about the front bumper and the rear bumper, and I got that taken care of. So like I said, just stay tuned, be patient, more is coming. I appreciate you guys. Till next time, peace.